little video I've made about how to best clean up this dado. Um, I've got close to my finish line, which is for a shelf. This is a cabinet side, it's for a shelf. I got close to my finish line with a router, and now I want to go right to the line and also clean up this little corner which was left by the um, router, the router bit here. Um, this is how that I, how I do it. I know some people suggest using a corner chisel, but I don't I don't care for them because I find them very difficult to sharpen. As you sharpen this plane, you've got to be careful not to sharpen this plane. Um, if you're using, let's say, a file that has a grind on both sides, this is an auger bit file, so it doesn't. Um, but still very difficult to sharpen and a lot easier just to sharpen a straightforward chisel. So here's how I do it. Um, registering off whichever side you're, uh, you're measuring from, or you're, you know, you're referencing from. Create your a clear knife line. Um, create a clear knife line to register your chisel in. And then using a nice wide chisel, as long as you don't have too much meat in front of the chisel, you're not going to move that knife line back. So starting at the, uh, the back of the cabinet here, the chisel should just slot nicely into, um, into that uh, groove. And you just move your way along. And the knife line shouldn't move. When you hear that dead sign, dead sound, you know that you're um, you're at depth, full depth, and the chisel's not going to move anymore. So it's coming up here. And you want to get close, and you've got to be careful at the end. So once you get to the end, you've got to make sure that you cut cross grain first. And the way I like to do this is take a smaller chisel. If you use too wide a chisel, it's going to pivot here. Even that might be too small, uh, too big. So I take a quarter inch chisel and you just want to create a little step there. And what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to give the chisel no uh, resistance behind um, behind it. So again, the chisel doesn't move move back. Now that I've and I'm going to do the same on this side. Just create that little step there. Flick it. Now that that's. Um, cleaned up, I can come in with a wider chisel. This is about a th just under three quarters of an inch, this dado. And I can safely chop down without splitting the wood long grain. And similarly here, I'll just clean it up. And lever it away. Now that that's now that that's done, just flip those out of the way. If you've got any inconsistencies at all in the corner, I come in with the router plane. I've got a little bit more to clean up here, so again I'll come in this way, chop down here, chop cross grain, and then long grain, and then the router plane to lift it. So that's how I do it. Um, nice clean. Actually I still got a little bit more on the other side here which I can just do.
And that's the result. Uh, so a nice clean cut. Um, let me just clean up that bit. I must have skipped part of it. Uh, so it's clean on both sides and um, should be a good fit for my data. A nice tight fit there. And that's how I do it. Okay. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.